Hello curious minds, what if the Big Bang wasn't the beginning of everything? What if the universe has always been here without a definitive beginning? Today we're diving into 5 theories that dared to challenge the Big Bang. Why didn't they stick? Let's explore what could have been the story of our universe, and why the Big Bang still reigns supreme. Okay, imagine this. A universe that's infinite, unchanging, and has always been. No dramatic beginnings, no explosive endings, just a constant state of being. That's the essence of the steady state theory, a popular alternative to the Big Bang in the mid-20th century. The idea was seductive in its simplicity. The universe according to this theory maintained a constant average density, even as it expanded. New matter was continuously created to fill the gaps left by expansion, ensuring the universe never looked empty. This theory had some heavy hitters backing it, including the renowned astronomer Fred Hoyle. He even coined the term Big Bang somewhat sarcastically, as he found the idea of a sudden beginning rather outlandish. But as with any good scientific theory, the proof is in the cosmic pudding, and observations started to chip away at the steady-state model. Enter the Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation, or CMB for short. This faint afterglow of the Big Bang was discovered in the 1960s and provided the first major blow to the steady-state theory. See, the CMB's existence implied a hot, dense early universe, something the steady-state model couldn't readily explain. Think of it this way. Imagine walking into a bakery and smelling freshly baked bread. You wouldn't assume the bread has always existed, right? The aroma is a telltale sign that something was baked recently. Similarly, the CMB is like the afterglow of the Big Bang indicating a hot, dense beginning. The discovery of quasars incredibly bright and distant objects dealt another blow. These quasars were abundant in the early universe but less common closer to us, suggesting the universe hasn't always looked the same. The steady state theory, with its unchanging universe, couldn't reconcile this observation. The universe, it turned out, wasn't as steady as we thought. It had a story, a beginning, and the Big Bang was looking more and more like the opening chapter. Now let's explore a theory that adds a bit of drama to the mix, the cyclic universe. Imagine this. The universe isn't on a one-way trip to oblivion but rather on a wild roller coaster ride of expansion and contraction, death, and rebirth. In this model, the Big Bang isn't a singular event but just one fiery burst in an endless cycle. The universe expands for eons, eventually slowing down as gravity pulls everything back together. This contraction culminates in a big crunch, where everything collapses back into an incredibly hot, dense state. But here's the kicker. Instead of the end, the big crunch sets the stage for another Big Bang, and the cycle begins anew. It's like the universe has a cosmic reset button, hitting refresh after billions or even trillions of years. The cyclic universe model is captivating because it attempts to address a fundamental question. What came before the Big Bang? If the universe is cyclical, then there is no before in the traditional sense, just an endless dance of expansion and contraction. This theory has had its share of proponents throughout history, even dating back to ancient Hindu cosmology. In more recent times, physicists like Paul Steinhardt and Neil Turok have developed sophisticated models of a cyclic universe, drawing upon concepts from string theory and extra dimensions. However, despite its allure, the cyclic universe faces some serious hurdles. Remember that pesky thing called entropy? It's the tendency for disorder to increase over time and it throws a wrench into the idea of perfect repeating cycles. Think of it this way, imagine making a perfect sandcastle. Each cycle of the universe is like building that sandcastle, letting it erode and then trying to rebuild it exactly as it was before. Entropy suggests that each new sandcastle would be slightly more disordered making a perfect replica impossible. Similarly, each cycle of the universe would likely be slightly different, with entropy increasing over time. This makes it difficult to reconcile the idea of a universe that perfectly repeats itself. While the cyclic universe offers a captivating alternative to the Big Bang, it currently lacks the observational evidence needed to solidify its place in mainstream cosmology. But hey, the universe is full of surprises and who knows what future discoveries might hold. Perhaps one day we'll find evidence of a previous cycle hinting at a universe that's far more dynamic than we ever imagined. The next theory throws a curveball at the dominant force in the universe, gravity. Instead of gravity being the main architect of the cosmos, Plasma cosmology suggests that electromagnetism, the force that governs light and electricity, plays a much bigger role than we thought. Plasma, often called the fourth state of matter, is a gas where atoms have been stripped of electrons, creating a sea of charged particles. This isn't some exotic substance, it makes up 99% of the visible universe. Our sun, stars and nebulae are all examples of plasma in action. Proponents of plasma cosmology argue that the behavior of this plasma influenced by powerful magnetic fields can explain the large-scale structure of the universe, the formation of galaxies, and even the observed motions of celestial objects, all without relying solely on the gravitational pull of dark matter. 
The allure of plasma cosmology lies in its ability to offer alternative explanations for phenomena that have puzzled astrophysicists for decades. Take the rotation of galaxies, for example. Observations show that stars at the edges of spiral galaxies are moving much faster than they should be if gravity from visible matter were the only force at play. The mainstream explanation for this is dark matter, an invisible substance thought to make up the majority of the universe's mass. However, plasma cosmology suggests that the interaction of plasma with magnetic fields could create the observed galactic rotation, potentially eliminating the need for dark matter altogether. One of the most vocal proponents of plasma cosmology was the Nobel laureate Hannes Alfven, who made significant contributions to the field of plasma physics. He argued that electromagnetic forces, often overlooked in cosmological models, could be the missing piece of the puzzle in our understanding of the universe. However, despite its intriguing propositions, plasma cosmology hasn't gained widespread acceptance within the scientific community. One of the main criticisms is that it struggles to make precise, quantitative predictions that can be tested against observations. Think of it this way. Imagine trying to build a house using only intuition and general principles, without any blueprints or precise measurements. While you might end up with a structure, it's unlikely to be as stable or predictable as one built with careful planning and calculations. Similarly, while plasma cosmology offers some intriguing qualitative explanations, it has yet to provide the robust mathematical framework and predictive power that characterize successful scientific theories. While plasma cosmology's influence on mainstream cosmology remains limited, its focus on electromagnetism's role in the universe has sparked valuable research and alternative perspectives in the field. Okay, get ready to delve into the realm where the very fabric of space-time gets a little fuzzy, the quantum realm quantum creation. Theories propose that the universe, in all its vastness and complexity, could have emerged from a quantum fluctuation, a tiny random blip in the vacuum of space. It's like pulling a universe out of a cosmic hat, except there's no hat, and the magician is quantum mechanics. Now the quantum world operates by rules that seem utterly bizarre compared to our everyday experience. Here, particles can pop in and out of existence, borrow energy from the void, and exist in multiple states simultaneously. It's a place where the impossible seems not just possible, but downright likely. One of the leading quantum creation theories is the idea of a quantum vacuum fluctuation. Imagine the vacuum of space not as empty nothingness, but as a seething sea of virtual particles constantly popping in and out of existence. These particles borrow energy from the vacuum, exist for a fleeting moment, and then annihilate each other, returning the borrowed energy. Now, imagine one of these quantum fluctuations, instead of disappearing, gets inflated by a process called cosmic inflation into a macroscopic universe. That's us. It's like a tiny bubble in a pot of boiling water suddenly expanding to an astronomical size. This idea is incredibly mind-boggling, but it has some intriguing features. For one, it potentially eliminates the need for a singularity, that point of infinite density and temperature at the very beginning of the Big Bang. Instead, the universe could have emerged from a finite, albeit incredibly small, region of space. However, quantum creation theories, while offering a tantalizing glimpse into the potential origins of the universe, face their own set of challenges. One of the biggest hurdles is connecting the microscopic world of quantum mechanics with the macroscopic world of general relativity, Einstein's theory of gravity. Think of it this way. Imagine trying to describe the behavior of a single grain of sand using the laws of planetary motion. While both are governed by gravity, the scales are so vastly different that applying the same rules seems absurd. Similarly, bridging the gap between the quantum world and the cosmic realm has proven to be one of the biggest challenges in modern physics. We need a theory of quantum gravity, one that can reconcile the weirdness of the quantum world with the smooth fabric of space-time. Despite these challenges, quantum creation theories remain an active area of research, with physicists exploring various models and attempting to find observational evidence to support them. All right, buckle up because we're about to explore a theory that'll make you question the very nature of reality, the simulation hypothesis. What if we're not living in a real universe at all, but rather in a sophisticated computer simulation, like characters in a giant video game? This idea isn't just the plot of a sci-fi movie, it's a serious philosophical and scientific proposition that's gained traction in recent years. Think about it. As our technological prowess grows, we're creating increasingly realistic virtual worlds, it's not inconceivable that a sufficiently advanced civilization could create a simulation indistinguishable from reality, at least from the perspective of those inside it. Proponents of the simulation hypothesis argue that, if simulations are possible, and there's no reason to think they're not, then it's statistically more probable that we're living in one than not. 
Imagine a civilization so advanced that it can create countless simulations, each with its own unique set of physical laws and constants. Now, imagine being a conscious entity within one of these simulations. You'd have no way of knowing you were living in a digital construct, as the simulation would be your reality. The simulation hypothesis is a mind-bending concept, but it's not without its critics. One of the main criticisms is that it's difficult, if not impossible, to prove or disprove. After all, any evidence we find within our universe could be a part of the simulation itself, cleverly designed to fool us. Think of it this way. Imagine trying to find evidence that you're dreaming while you're still asleep. Any clues you find could just be another layer of the dream designed to keep you from waking up. Similarly, any anomalies or glitches we observe in our universe could simply be part of the simulation's programming, indistinguishable from genuine physical phenomena. Another criticism is that the simulation hypothesis doesn't really answer any fundamental questions about the universe's origins or purpose. It simply shifts the question of why is there something rather than nothing, to why did the simulators create this simulation. Despite these criticisms, the simulation hypothesis remains a fascinating thought experiment, forcing us to confront our assumptions about reality and the nature of existence. Now let's wrap up why the Big Bang Theory dominates. First up is the Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation, or CMB for short. This faint glow permeates the universe and is considered the afterglow of the Big Bang itself. Discovered in the 1960s, the CMB serves as a powerful piece of evidence that suggests the universe began in a hot, dense state and has been expanding ever since. Next, we have the redshift of galaxies. When we observe distant galaxies, we notice they are moving away from us, and their light shifts toward the red end of the spectrum. This phenomenon supports the idea of an expanding universe, much like a balloon inflating as you blow air into it. This expansion aligns perfectly with the predictions of the Big Bang Theory, making it hard to ignore. And let's not forget about nucleosynthesis, the process that formed light elements in the universe's early moments. The observed abundance of hydrogen and helium matches the predictions made by the Big Bang Theory, suggesting that our universe emerged from this hot dense state. So, why did these pieces of evidence lead to the Big Bang's dominance? Simply put, they offer a coherent and consistent explanation that the alternative theories we've discussed struggle to match. Of course, science is always evolving, and while the Big Bang Theory is our best explanation for now, researchers continue to explore the cosmos for new insights. Who knows what mysteries await us? And there you have it. Five theories that once challenged the Big Bang but ultimately fell short, yet cosmology is far from settled. New discoveries could still change everything we think we know. So, what do you think? Could one of these theories make a comeback, or is there another explanation waiting to be found? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're excited to dive deeper into the mysteries of the universe, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss our next cosmic journey. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep looking up.